Please don't sue us. People. It's not our fault. It's sue him. Fault. Yeah, yeah, sue us, people. He's been the constant here. So, Meta Knight Diddy Kong, uh, I haven't seen this matchup often. Right, um... Yeah, I don't feel like we really see this too much. Because even at like, the high level, usually the, the other high level Meta Knight players will go like Cloud or another short character instead. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's because this is a bad matchup necessarily, or, or what. I think Meta Knight has a little bit of a difficulty getting the kills against Diddy Kong, uh, just because he falls in a weird class of... He's not necessarily a fast faller, but he's not a floaty either. Yeah, yeah, it's like that kind of kind of a middleweight, a little yeah. bit, a little bit edge more towards the fast folly speed, but not enough to like really tr like make it so you can do big combos on him. Yeah, a little bit edge towards fast fall, a little bit edge towards light, but pretty close to the middle on both, and that makes things uh, hard mm -hmm. for Meta Knight. He likes them uh, either uh, Rosalina or you know. Fox. Yeah, man, I don't think he probably prefers Rosalina. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody likes getting their hands on a fox. Fox can be fun to do things with, as we saw. Yes. So, Meta Knight Diddy Kong, we're going to see it from these two that are apparently ready to have a good time, oh, yeah. judging by the ferocity of that fist bump. Right, yeah, it's definitely um, <laughs> trying to show their spirit immediately. Smashville game one. This is winner's oh. semis. This is winner's semis. Interesting, yeah. I mean, obviously, we've known. I mean, Fi has been on an absolute terror on the recent shockwaves that he's been coming to. He didn't make the PR because he didn't go to enough uh, right, right. events, but he's been placing top well, four, I think, well. the entire time. I wonder. And this is part of it. Yes, the up air strings, a lot of damage. I wonder uh, which one of these two put Mage into losers. Uh, well, based on characters, I would say uh, Fi, but Fi is. <laughs> would well, be a good no, guess. we know we know who put Mage into losers. Oh, that's right. Yeah, I'm sorry, my bad. We saw it happen. My memory is short. That's fine. <laughs> wow. Barely almost, surviving uh, that th throw. It's not the first time we've seen Wispy go for something like that today. Except last time it was uh, back throw. Back throw. Yeah, yeah. Oh, ho, 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 ouch. That is uh, unfortunate for Wispy. Pretty early percent kill with that up B. After playing Brawl, I say to myself, well, <laughs> at least Meta Knight's up air isn't what it was. But uh, then that happens, then I right. go, but it's close. It's really close. <laughs> it's really close. It's not quite like up air into tornado strings taking people off the top, like regardless of your character. Which like, I didn't know that's percent. what you were supposed to do. Which, yes, is actually where you're supposed to. Up air to up B is still like really good. But it usually will only kill people if they like if they DI the up beam properly. Right. Um, which Whereas will happen. Tornado, you just take them. Yeah, you, Tornado is just like, oh, you didn't get on my up air string? I'll kill you. Kinda I'll like kill the, you. <laughs> kind of like those up smashes from Diddy Kong. Mm-hmm. But he's been making really good usage of his smash attacks. Like, he, I think out of everything I've seen from him, his usage of smash attacks has actually uh, impressed me most weirdly. Right, that, right. and he's also got a very good uh, eye on his movement. Yes, his movement is really clean. Um, and like Diddy Kong in general is a pretty slippy char slippery character. Like if he's played against one that uses their rolls properly, even one that like uses their rolls like only kind of properly, it can be pretty difficult to actually punish him just because he's got like a little bit less ending life than, than most characters. You had it right. He is a slippy character. It's actually slippy in disguise as monkey. Um, Slippy lost weight. Good on him. <laughs> <laughs> and he got suit. shorter. And got shorter. And, oh, uh, God. Got a hat. And, like, his lungs, his, his arms elongated. But that's just a game. Anyways. Um, <laughs> oh. Able to recover. Yeah. Not falling for the, t uh, the Trump setup. Like I said, movement and recovery. Uh, very good from Wispy. Mm -hmm. In fact, that's what he constantly practices in hand warmers. So it uh, doesn't surprise me. I mean, obviously prone to the SD, as we've seen, but... Also pretty good at the uh, at the recovery. The re grab is kind of dangerous against Meta Knight. Yep, but Fi not ready to punish it. Gonna cover. Gonna try to cover that landing with the uh, the banana throw. Fi stalling out with those multi double jumps from Meta Knight. You'll be glad to know I had a really good pun and I just didn't. I'm I'm proud of you. Congratulations. Ooh. Good spacing there. Gonna punish Wait, that's that. Exactly. Oh, that's wow. gonna. Ooh, okay. No, okay. Great di from Wispy. Oh, he's got to be really careful with the side Bs, though. Fly is just turning out punishments for him. If he does that again, he might be eating an F smash. Or an up smash or like up that. Smash. Smashes. Death. Death is waiting for him at the end of those side Bs. Mm -hmm. He's going to try to he's gonna try to avoid it, but uh, Fly has been taking care of the banana all game long. Yeah. I, mean, that, I feel like Meta Knight is a character who does pretty good at that because he has the threat range of that dash attack. He does... Uh, have the move set necessary to be like, hey, you're pulling a banana, stop that. So I think oh, he... Oh no, trying to punish the roll. But... Good jumps out. 
Fi has multiple jumps to burn to get away from that sort of thing, and did so. Yeah, really, really crucial in any matchup against Meta Knight that you, like, actually count the number of times he jumps so that you can be sure when he's actually coming down. Mm -hmm. Good side B grab from Wispy. Gets him back control of center stage. Gets the banana set up. Oh, Ooh, good roll away. Banana's burnt. Getting very intense with down tilt to up smash. Gonna do it. Mm -hmm. uh, very intelligent to read the one roll in. Yep, good stuff from Wispy. Super close game. Yeah. A uh, couple of near misses for Wispy there near the end, but... Right, yeah, and there were definitely a couple times where, like, if I punished it a little bit, and if he punished it a little bit harder, like some of those side Bs on the stage, he definitely could have taken the game there. Mm -hmm. um, we'll have to see if he can uh, crank out the Splinter Prince a little bit harder in this game. Yep, game two, back to Smashville. Of course, if I, uh not Ooh. incorrect in thinking he could have had that game, he absolutely, was absolutely. probably a percent away from having it. Okay. Yeah, but now it is Wispy opening up this time for almost 50% damage. Oh, excellent punish on the banana on shield. Nice. Interesting that the rising forward air from Diddy Kong actually hits Meta Knight. Yeah. Would have expected that it'd like go over his little ball head. Thinking. From what I'm seeing, it looks like Wispy's just doing a much better job of oh. keeping Fi spaced out when he's uh, in control of the stage. Mm -hmm. Definitely, yeah. Yeah, not even necessarily doing it with bananas, just like oh, like forward airs and grabs. Oh, banana actually going to catch him there, but Fi got him off stage again. This is where it's dangerous for Diddy. Oh. Really making good use of the follow-ups after missing on these F smashes. Mm -hmm. Yep, that is one thing Meta Knight benefits from, is F smash does not have much end lag at all. Meta Knight, meanwhile, though, has a very sad glide toss, and that was almost one of the <laughs> most technically impressive things I've seen Wispy do. That's pretty sick, yeah. Some Dude. little uh, Z-drop shenanigans there. Z-drop to down air to grab. Oh. Getting Actually gonna... The banana throw. But still does manage to find the up smash for the KO. Mm-hmm. Again, Wispy's, uh, Wispy's smash attacks have been yeah. just hitting every single time, very, or have had a well purpose placed. otherwise. Yeah. Yeah, we saw that from, like, the. a lot of times players do have to, like, guess to a certain degree, like uh, Jason in previous sets. Uh, you know, missing his up smashes have been very crucial, but mm -hmm. if, you can, if you can make them all hit, it's obviously a very, very good thing. That is a huge window of opportunity for your opponent if you do mess it up. Cool. Okay, dashing right in there for the grab. Interesting from Fi there, using what looked like F tilt Ooh. to just cut the banana up and destroy it. And the back air to get the stock. Putting him back into this game. Ledge Trump will definitely get him some stocks. And again, Wispy with some uh, banana throw shenanigans. Mm -hmm. Bananigans. <laughs> some bananigans, yeah. Got the, the stage to set him up. Bananigans sounds like some kind of, like, oh. event that would be thrown at your local church. <laughs> right, yeah. Come on in for bananigans. All right, so Wispy not wanting to approach without that banana, but... uh. Fi has now two small yellow objects in his hand. <laughs> right. Okay, good. I really like the uh, the jump from ledge to not land on the banana. Got him off stage. Mm -hmm. Nothing to do with it, though. I uh, think that dash attack off is uh, him trying to run off backer. Possibly. Yeah, the um, excellent pickup on the banana pole. Doesn't get him too much again, the side B from Wispy. I feel like Wispy's gotten, like, uh, a little bit better at figuring out when Fi is able, is, like, uh, zeroing in on the side B's. Starting mm -hmm. to use them a little bit less predictably. Yeah, I do like to just to get up in place there whenever he realizes Fi's positioning to um, punish it. Okay. And the surprise back throw gets some uh, some not-so-great DI on it. Was this is one of the most anticlimactic game ends I've seen. Uh,